Good morning, boys and girls. This is our e-learning lesson for language arts for Tuesday, March 31st. We're going to take a look at simple predicates. On page 59, top of the page, follow along with me. The simple predicate or verb is the main word or words in the complete predicate. It tells what the subject is or does. The simple predicate may be more than one word. It may be a main verb and a helping verb. So remember that the simple predicate is the action in the sentence or it gives us more information about the subject. It tells us what the, the who or the what that we were talking about in the sentence. It gives us more information about them. Um, so for example, let's just take a look at the first one. Jeff blank onto the stage. So we're talking about Jeff. The predicate is going to tell us something about Jeff. What does Jeff do? What is he doing? Okay. So we take a look here and it says Jeff blank onto the stage. So once again, we have the box to the right with different choices. So uh, we can see that it has been done for us that Jeff walks onto the stage. So our simple predicate is walks. What is it that Jeff does? He walks. Now the complete predicate would be walks onto the stage. So not only do we have the action, but we have some more information about that. Walks where? Walks onto the stage. Okay, let's look at the other examples. And again, we're going to be choosing from the blue box on the right, simple predicates. Number one, the musicians blank their instruments. What is it that the musicians do with their instruments? Play. Oops. The musicians play their instruments. Number two, Jeff blank his song. What is it that Jeff does with his song? He sings his song. Number three, people blank their hands to the music. What is it that people are doing? People are clapping. Okay, people are clapping their hands to the music. Okay, number four, they blank the concert tonight. They what? They are enjoying the concert tonight. And number five, there blank a party after the concert. There will be a party after the concert. Now again, remember that the simple sub, the, rather the simple predicate is only a part of the entire predicate. The simple predicate really is going to be either um, the action, it could also be a main verb with a helping verb. So if we take a look, we see some actions, uh, play and sings. And then in the other three sentences, we had a helping verb with the main verb, are clapping, are enjoying, and then we also have will be, there will be. So again, you can see different types of simple predicates. And remember though, the simple predicate is only a part of the entire predicate. In the second section here on page 59, it says the complete predicate is underlined in each sentence. Copy each complete predicate and then underline the simple predicate. So the complete predicate has been underlined for you. Now you need to choose the simple predicate. Example, our class saw an opera last week. Saw an opera last week is the complete predicate. And the simple predicate is saw because you can say our class did what? Our class saw, okay? Number six, Hansel and Gretel is the name of the opera. Okay, is the name of the opera is the complete predicate. And then the simple predicate would be what? Hansel and Gretel, what is, okay. Number seven, the story has been enjoyed for years. Has been enjoyed for years is the complete predicate. And the simple predicate would be has been enjoyed. Now in that case, again, remember that 
with a, the simple subject. I had told you how we're looking for just that key word. Sometimes it might be more than one, but often it is just one. It's the same thing with the simple predicate. Okay, often it will be just one word, but it can be more than one. In this case, has been enjoyed because we have helping verbs. We have helping verbs with the main verb, has been enjoyed. Number eight, two children are wandering in the woods. Are wandering in the woods is the complete predicate. The simple predicate would be in her house. Keeps them in her house is the complete predicate. And the simple predicate would be keeps. What is it that the woman does? The woman keeps. And number 10, the children finally escape. Finally escape is the complete predicate. The simple predicate is escape because what is it that the children do? The children escape. Then the last section, just move this a little bit. In the last section, it says to write the complete predicate of each sentence and then underline the simple predicate. So we'll do the same thing as what was done in, in the middle. We'll underline the complete predicate and then just circle the simple predicate. So the example, an opera is a musical drama, is a musical drama, is the complete predicate, and the simple predicate would be is, an opera is. Number 11. The woman is singing an aria. Is singing an aria is the complete predicate, and the simple predicate would be is singing. Number 12. An aria is sung by one person. Complete predicate is sung by one person. Simple predicate is sung. Number 13. Many operas contain dances and fancy costumes. Complete predicate, contain dances and fancy costumes. Simple predicate, contain, many operas contain. Number 14, the opera Carmen will run for 10 weeks in Atlanta. Will run for 10 weeks in Atlanta is the complete predicate. And the simple predicate would be will run. And the last one, Janet will be going to the last performance. Will be going to the last performance is the complete predicate and the simple predicate will be going. Now remember to find the simple predicate, you first really need to recognize what the subject is and then the simple predicate tells you what it is that the subject is doing. So again, looking back at sentence number six, Hansel and Gretel is the name of the opera. Okay, the subject is Hansel and Gretel. And what about Hansel and Gretel? Well, Hansel and Gretel is, is what is the name of the opera? Okay, uh, in number seven, the story has been enjoyed for years. What is the subject? The subject is the story. Well, what about the story has been enjoyed for years? Okay, so again, you really do need to be able to recognize your subject first and then following your subject will be your verb. And remember that the verb is the start of your predicate. And that verb, whether it be an action verb alone or a helping verb and an action verb, that's going to be the simple predicate, okay? All right, um, what I would like you to do today is to work on workbook page 10, okay? Workbook page 10 simple predicates and the directions tell you to underline the simple predicate of each sentence below. So in sentences one to eight, you simply need to underline the simple predicate. And then the lower part of the page, it says to now write the simple predicates in order on the lines below. So one to eight, and then you see blanks one to eight. So after you have identified the simple subjects in sentences one to eight, what you have identified as your simple uh, predicates rather, what you have identified as your simple predicates there, you will then fill in here, one to eight. And then it says, then follow the directions next to each line. So again, you're going to identify simple predicates in one to eight, what you, have, what you have identified there, you will then fill in on these blanks one to eight, 
and then you will do what it says to do next to it. Underneath that, it says to unscramble the circle letters to spell the name of the insect discussed in the sentences above. So again, it's one step at a time. Do the first part. After you've done the first part, then you'll be able to do the second part. After you filled in the blanks on the second part, you'll be able to follow the directions to the far right. After you have done all of the circling in all of these, then you will be able to take those letters and unscramble them and come up with the name of the insect here. These insects are blank. Okay. All right, and then at the very bottom, the writing application, write five sentences about your life as if you were an insect. Underline each simple predicate. So basically you want to take the point of view of an insect, okay? Any insect you'd like, but you're just simply going to write five sentences from the point of view of an insect. And then in each of those sentences, you only need to underline the simple predicate. And that concludes the grammar portion of today's work. For spelling today, you have pages 95 and 96, which is using your words in context. For reading, you will be reading chapter six in Fever, and you need to answer the questions. And uh, the questions are numbers um, four and five on your sheet, questions four and five. Also, you should be spending 20 to 30 minutes in your AR book. And then for Wordly Wise, today is the Lesson 9 test. And you can find the link for that in the lesson plan section. You can find the link for that test. The test will be through Quizlet. And it's a little bit different than the Wordly Wise test that you've taken in the past. But the same idea, you need to know the meanings of those words. Okay. Um, again, any questions, you're, you're stuck on anything, you need my help, please make sure you reach out to me so that I can help you understand whatever it is that you need help with. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.